anyone has any good hyaluronic acid recommendations that are friendly on the budget, let me know because I'm thinking of trying a different one to the ordinary because I've got longer nails. I hate when you like scoop up moisturiser and it goes behind your nail. So my sister told me that, you know, if you scoop it that way, it helps a little bit if you're interested. Sometimes I like to put the remaining moisturiser on the elbows because, you know, sometimes you just get dry elbows, don't you? And then the most important, the sunscreen. Done. Now time to do the makeup and get dressed. That pile of laundry that's just screaming to be put away, but I just don't have the capacity to do it today. Wear. So I need to try and go into Liverpool just so I can, well I wanted to go on like a little walk, <clears throat> pardon me, and get a coffee because you know the, the day's feeling very spring-esque. But I also want to try and get out the house and be a little bit productive because if I stay in I end up doing other tasks and not prioritising the things I want to do. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. But first things first, <clears throat> oh my god, I've had like a chesty sort of of issue for like the past few weeks I think I must have had like a slight chest infection or something but it's feeling a bit catchy anyway I'm just gonna do the makeup routine I've got like a weird sensation in my eye my eyes felt really strained this morning and I had to go back to bed and sort of close my eyes it felt a bit migraine-esque but now I've got like a weird light feeling in my eye hopefully it goes away this is the elf power grip I've used this a few times now and I do like it then I'll put the Glossier Stretch Concealer on. And keep it kind of, trying to keep it light today because, you know, as I said in my last vlog, I don't really like the sensation of having heavy makeup on anymore. Four in one glow, Perfecta from Maybelline. Oops, <laughs> that's a bit much. I kind of put this on as a little bit more of a base wearing a different foundation today I'm wearing the Superstay Active Wear Maybelline New York is it matte? apparently it's 30 hour wear yet the sensation in my eye it kind of feels like when you get a migraine and you get like those weird light feelings in your eye maybe my eye's just really tired i was editing yesterday i've got like some blemishes there so what i like to use and i've been using for like 10 years in my acne days is the mac studio finish concealer and it's like really full coverage concealer and it's good if you have any blemishes yeah, but I used to be really insecure about my skin and I remember thinking I don't care if I have like acne scars, I just wish I had no spots. Yeah, I've had a little mini breakout which is hormonal, so Glossier Cloud Paint. I need to try and get a good sort of dupe for this because it's a bit pricey, isn't it? That'll do. Rimmel Translucent Powder had this for years the Mary Luminizer highlighter you should probably put a little bit too much on this whoopsies A mascara that I really like is the Glossier mascara because it like combs through every lash but my only issue with it is one it's expensive and two it's got a lot of fallout so I do struggle with that with mascaras so if you know of any mascaras without fallout let me know in the comments. Some days I just go out and I don't do the makeup I'm not in the mood to put makeup on but then other days kind of sets me up for the day. This is like slipping back. <clears throat> That's giving boy bands, isn't it? I like my lashes to be like completely combed through and not like clumpy. We'll address the lip situation when I'm ready. If you're wondering, this is the best natural deodorant. I only really like to use the natural deodorants. I don't like the aerosols and a lot of them, the natural ones, I end up getting irritation because I have sensitive skin, but this is 
and like really soothe and highly recommend. Mega Babe, Daily Deodorant, Rosy Pits. I like to just put my fringe, my bangs in a roller because it just makes things easier than having to sit there for like however long style on them. And I really can't be bothered with my hair today, so I'm putting her in two plaits. I'm one of those people who likes to have long hair, but then I don't really know what to do with it. This is like, it's a lipstick, but it's in the shade Zip. Hello, Mabel. And it, it's not like a full lipstick, it is, but I'd say it's more like a lip stain. It's like a low maintenance if you wanted to wear like red lipstick. And then I like to put a bit of gloss on because my lips feel dry. And this is, you know, collections, like a really cheap makeup brand in the UK. And it's very like when you're a teenager, you buy it. I'll give you a bit of a throwback here when I was like 17 I was in my indie phase I was an indie girl I was kings of Leon not like other girls and I wanted to be Alexa Chung <laughs> I didn't even wear makeup I had like a fringe Alexa Chung was my style icon I had a heavy fringe and I'd wear eyeliner every day no no other makeup just eyeliner and I'd wear the collection eyeliner and you can't knock it it was like 2 99 and oh this is a white one but you know you still get the same do I have a black one? There it is, the black one. It was like 2 99 and it's still a really good eyeliner. It's very vivid and it's got this like point on it. Anyway, why was I telling you that? Oh yeah, Collection is like a cheap makeup brand, but they've got some good things and you know, if you're on a budget. This is Gloss Me Up Juicy Infusions with Pomegranate Seed Oil. Just hydrate them lips. It's got a smell as well that reminds me of when I was younger and I used to get those like scented lip glosses. I'll take this out now and then I just brush it back. These are from And Other Stories. I've got this really Y2K necklace that I've had since I was like 13. Remember them? Shall I wear it? It's real silver. I got it as a birthday present. Do you know what? I'm, I'm wearing it. I don't care. Just wearing these classics. Did I shrink my jumper in the washing machine? Yeah. Just keeping it casual today. Thumbnail. <laughs> I might wear this cap. I think I might need to loosen it. That's too loose. Is she serving? This is what we're going with anyway. Now let's go into Liverpool. It's hot in this car. That's when you know spring's coming. She says wearing a wool jumper. But first I need to go to the chemist and pick up my medication. Um, off we go. The goods have been secured. Now to drive into Liverpool. The sound of Liverpool is BBC Radio Merseyside. So I'm in town and I'm going to go get a matcha and have a walk around. It's quite nice out at the moment. So there's this place that does like the best matcha in Liverpool. In my opinion, all the other places are inferior. So we're going to go get one there. So I think you can see that I enjoyed my matcha, oat milk matcha, obviously. Now I'm just going to this park 
I think it's called University Square. I used to come here when I was in college and university and they usually have like a lot of blossom trees so that's where she's off. sitting here enjoying my solitude. It's actually quite a nice mild day. It's not very sunny but I should have probably brought my book. I'm listening to a podcast but it's not quite the same so I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit more and enjoy that and then we'll head to a coffee shop to try get some work done. Yeah I'll just be sitting here listening to a podcast. nice little stroll. I think if I stayed out any longer I would have been cold. But now I want to try and continue working on my opinion piece essay. Sort of get organised for my videos. Every other week I'm doing a vlog but I want to have more of a schedule so I want to just go sit down somewhere and you know get organised. When I got my matcha, they didn't do this last time, but they have that like new thing where they cover the top, they like seal it. I was acting like a severe boomer, I couldn't get me straw. <laughs> oh God, that was cringe. Thank you. I went into Oxfam, which is like our thrift store, and I looked at the books. Unfortunately, they were all rubbish, but I did get a dress for 9 99 which I'll show you when I get home. Now I'm just heading home. I need to get coffee, pick up coffee, not get a coffee. I need to get an ice cube tray as well because, um, I'll just pick my car. Anyway, yeah, I'm rambling. I went to the shop. I went to B&M. Big brands and big savings. If you're not from the UK, B&M's like, I'd say it's like a low end version of like a Target. They have like similar stuff you get in the shops, but much cheaper. I'm gonna do B&M haul. Like we go there because they've got this coffee. It tastes nice and it's only on 29. I'm gonna put it in the reusable bag, what I wanna show you. This is it, it's called Cafe d'Italia Dark Roast. So I got four of those because you know, she needs a coffee. So then I got ice cube trays. Two ice cube trays, 150 each because our fridge and freezer broke that we'd had for like 20 years. Then I got these colourful glass straws, three pounds. And then obviously got some oat milk because you know, running low. And then the other stuff I got was for the dogs. I got them a toy each because I have to treat the babies. And then when I was in there, the woman said that this toy was reduced to 10 pence. So I was like, I might as well get it. It was supposed to be 350. That was my little B&M haul. Now I'm going home and I'm desperate for the toilet.
so I've been home for a few hours now. I was just chilling. Oh, I need a drink. And then I walked Milo. And I've just prepared some food for a curry that's just simmering downstairs. Yeah, I'll show you the dress. First of all, how stunning is this colour? It's like a slip dress. That's the front and that's the back. I should probably try it on, shouldn't I? Let's try it on. That's the back. It goes quite far down. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can fix the camera. But I like that it's, you know, just a simple slip dress. I could put like a jumper over it or a cardigan or a t-shirt. I was going to show you, but I can't be bothered. $9.99. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to do some yoga and I need to put my washing away. It just fell on the floor. I really don't want to do it, but red not this. For the rest of the evening, I'm going to do some yoga, put my washing away, watch some Law and Order, obviously. What else would I be doing on a Friday night? And read. Oh, and the skincare. We're taking this off right now. I don't know how anyone can take the makeup off gently. You see these beauty gurus and influencers and they're doing this. How's that coming off? off my eyes isn't it i've just been putting my skincare on you can tell i'm tired i wasn't even recording <laughs> just put my retinol on oh yeah i have to get the cream out like that <laughs> don't I? so i'm probably just gonna have to put the washing away now Squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Uh -huh. 